if he actually did this, like, he's a fucking asshole. Oh my god. Okay. I feel like this is just going downhill real fast. Why are you writing this to somebody? Like, why are you telling this to these women that you're trying to, like, lure in? Like, for, like, why are you doing that? Oh my god, he's an idiot. This is so sick, dude. It's so sick. It's so sick. Like, how could you do that to somebody? I don't... I could never do that to somebody. I don't know how you could do that to somebody. And then be out there just broadcasting it like, yeah! You can do this too, and this is here's how you can do it. Hey guys, so I just uh, was looking on my feed and saw a lot about the Andrew Tate uh, stuff and the new evidence that apparently has been leaked. So I know Avan Preach has done a good video on it, so I was going to go check that out. So, I mean, let's take a listen. I, I haven't really followed it much. I know uh, General generally is charged with like the four things. Uh, he's arrested for 30 days or maybe now 60 i'm not quite sure um but yeah let's hear what they uh have to say if you aren't aware pete's in prison in romania some people say he's innocent other people say he's guilty and you guys remember us we said uh, wait till the evidence comes out and we'll find out well a lot of evidence has been coming out that prosecutor's office in romania has been leaking a lot and uh, <laughs> how can you be a prosecutor's office and leaking that much? Let's always do it. They really? do it on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. They leak what they want to the press. You have to understand. It's a whole game. Winning a case for them is not just winning a case. There's a lot of ego involved. These people want to win these big cases. But they got when the FBI says it's got a what 96, 98 conviction rate. The reason why is because they like that shit on their resume. They take on cases they know they're gonna win, yeah. and they only put forth the case yeah. when they know they're gonna win. Yeah. And so this kind of thing right here, have you seen what they leaked? No, I haven't seen what they leaked. Listen, they didn't prosecute Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate prosecuted Andrew Tate. <laughs> my homie was self snitching. Oh my god. Oh, so they're referring to like all his videos and things that he released where he talks he like seems to almost tell himself like he says a bunch of stuff i don't know i just right now my opinion is he's just playing like some character like why would anybody do that like it it just seems so stupid like why wouldn't you just shut your mouth or you're just being bombastic so you're saying it you know oh well, that bad Watch the tape. No, basically, watch the tape. Trafficking, we have three things. Force, fraud, or coercion. Is this guy Romanian? Force, obviously, Sounds that's American. like being in chains and, you know, not being allowed to leave. Fraud, being kept there under false pretenses. If there's an element of fraud in the way that you are enticing somebody or keeping somebody in a particular position to work for you, and if it's in the sex business, that's sex trafficking or coercion. Let's kind of look at one of his very first videos that he did. These are his words, not my words. When you say webcam company, people assume, oh, it's just a sex fest. But in reality, it's a shitload of people management. The HR category of the webcam business is, is the largest and most important thing. You're effectively taking girls, teaching them how to make unlimited money from home, and then making sure they give it all to you. Your goal is... From home? So they were in their own home? Or he had like rooms set up to inspire a girl to make money so the way you're going to do that is you have to have some element of influence and you're going to have that element of influence through her respecting you looking up to you and her believing she needs you and this is extremely important because at the beginning she will need you but then she won't need you but you have to keep that fallacy Keep that dream alive. Fallacy. That's his word. And what is fallacy? Fraud. That's a pimp. That's that's exactly what a pimp does. I knew some street pimps. I've known them for a long time. Straight street pimping is completely. In fact, no, it's not a completely different game. The psychological aspect is the same. She can't do this without you. To ensure that she doesn't do it without. You. At the beginning, she can, but there'll become a point she can. But you being here, 
it synergizes this teamwork energy. We're gonna do this together. Yeah, you go on the camera, don't worry, I'll talk to the guys, I'm gonna to talk to them. We're a team, did it a happy, positive teamwork. There's no negative energy in this business. You imagine what are you talking? What? So she's gonna be on the camera and some guys or whatever are gonna be gonna be talking to her on, on the chat, right? In the website. And they're going to be looking at her and, and they're going to be like, well, I don't see her typing or I don't see her responding like verbally, like she's not speaking. Oh, I guess it's her talking. Like they're not going to, who, I don't think anybody would want to see that. I don't know. That's, that's weird. Like what feels like if you're doing that, you wouldn't make any money. And then he literally wouldn't be doing that. Like he would have to be hiring people, right? Because I, he has more than one model or whatever, so he's not just one girl. I don't know. You can't like he can't be typing in all these chats. And you talking to this hot blonde girl, and you webcam with her, and you send her messages, and you find out it's actually just a bald headed top G on the other side. <laughs> you thought you were talking to a bitch named Mercedes? <laughs> Turned out as a nigga obsessed with Bugais. I'm just saying. That's why. I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, the reason why I'm having this face is because the amount I didn't realize how much foot and mouth could contain. Oh, oh, he's fucking up. Oh, oh, they got all the receipts on this guy. Right. And it gets worse. You have to be positive. So by you typing for the girl, you maximize your money, and also she believes she needs you, which is extremely important. Another reason you use Shadowbank is because you, they will pay you in Bitcoin. And this is amazing because the you've all seen the thought audit shit that's going on. You've all seen the fucking legalities of banking. Trying to get money out of these sites into your bank without paying a shitload of tax is actually very difficult. See, it's that that whole avoiding taxes, and and it's not legal to do that. I thought he didn't like cryptocurrencies. Like he said on some podcasts, he's like he didn't like them because it's like uh, it's like a scam. Um, it, in order for you to get your money out of crypto, somebody has to lose money. So he thought it was a scam. He was like, people shouldn't be investing in it. I, okay, I don't know. I it this is too confusing. I don't like it's like it. I don't even know what to believe. It just seems like so ex, like says one thing on one side, and then one thing on the other side, and it's just like it's just a big freaking hot mess. Six months, chat right have released the Bitcoin options. They'll pay you in Bitcoin. Tax is also another important element for controlling your woman. You're not gonna pay anybody tax because you're getting paid in Bitcoin. So you don't need to pay tax to anybody. Tell your girl that you're paying the tax because girls are lazy and girls are stupid and girls don't understand how taxes work. So the girl's working with you and you're like, oh, okay, yeah, we made this much money, but I'm gonna pay the tax to make sure we don't get in trouble. She'll sit there and go, okay, okay. Now that allows you to do two things. One is another control element. I work with him, my tax is not a problem. If I do it alone, I have to deal with taxes. Taxes are complicated. It allows you to pay her a smaller percentage. So I used to pay my girls 30%. So for every $10,000 they made, I give them three and I keep seven. They thought they were on 50%. And I said that the disparity is because of taxes. So you're on 50%, you get to pay the tax first and then it's 50-50. So really you're paying. Okay. Um, if he actually did this, like he's a fucking asshole. Like you're just a fucking asshole, dude. If you did, if you actually did this. And thirty, you tell them you're paying fifty. The difference is in the tax. That's where the disparity lies. Taxes. If you, if they don't believe you, or they want to get fresh or whatever. Print out some tax forms. I see this all the time. I have to print out some random tax forms and say, yeah, sign here and sign this. What is it? So the tax. You want to pay the tax or not? Ooh, okay, and they just sign away. But this is all for greed. So he could have got 50-50, right? Which I guess they would have been okay with. So he's getting 5K, they're getting 5K a month, let's say. But he was greedy. He wanted another 2K. I don't know what the fucking signing. Let's throw them away afterwards. But they think something's happening. Something real's happening. Nothing's happening. It's like me getting rich, bitch. So we started. All right, he's already admitted to tax evasion and fraud. I mean, it's not a mission. He's... This is a course he's running. He's teaching people. That's what he's... So he's teaching people how to get your girlfriend or get a girl or something to be on OnlyFans or a webcam girl and how to make money. 
Okay. Teaching. He doesn't mean he's doing that now. Now, now. I'm just playing devil's. <laughs> it's, it's a very hard job. I'm just. I'm not. <laughs> so, 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 so. Hey, 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 hey. I... <laughs> he said he like. It just feels like he's trying to show off that, like either. Either he didn't do it and he's playing a character and he's scamming people, right? Or he's just trying to, like, to me, or he's just trying to, like, show off and be like, oh, look what I did. Mm, I'm the greatest. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm so amazing. I'm top G. Said that's what he was doing with his girls. That's what he said he was doing. Yeah. The women saying he did this to us. Oh. <sighs> What, you think they're going to look at the bank records and see that the money, oh, he was paying them 50-50? What you think? Let's be honest. If someone admits to what they're doing, just believe in them. But to his defense, I got nothing. <laughs> Guys, he's self-snitching. So what you're telling me is that they got him on frauding the girls and defrauding the government. Is that what you're saying? I just want you guys to understand, like, just here, we're not even going to the human track, just right there. This man was stealing from the people that were working for him. Yeah, he's an right asshole. There. If he actually was... He didn't even care. He said, I'm getting rich, bitch. Fuck you. He didn't care. He was stealing from... If that's your job, how would you feel about that? Would you not want this person to charge for that crime? Listen, if my employer even stole one dollar an hour from me, I'd be pissed. Thousands every single month? Something real is happening. Nothing's happening except me get rich, bitch. He is... Andrew Tate is so goddamn confusing. Because I see him on certain podcasts, and then he says things which are, like, very nice about a, a woman. Like, you know, he's very gender, traditional gender-focused. But he'll say nice things about women, like, women are beautiful and feminine, they can have babies and stuff, and I would love to marry them, whatever, marriage is great, blah, blah, blah. And you think to yourself, those are good, those are generally good things, right? And then he does other stuff where it's just like, what the frig, dude? It's just... <laughs> you have girls. You do not do a business relationship with a female. I'll tell you why. Women have sex with somebody. If they're not fucking you, they're fucking somebody else. And that other person she's fucking is going to have the control over her mind as opposed to you. And if he controls her mind and you don't control her mind, once she starts to pick it up a bit after a few weeks, a few months, whatever, and realizes how to make money on her own, or she's going to run off and pay her boyfriend, or them two are going to go traveling in Southeast Asia and she's going to work as she goes, or she's going to go to her boyfriend and say, look, fuck it, you type for me. Oh, yeah, but you're always working. I have to do some traveling and you can't come. I want to bring you with me. Traveling's a great one because the thing about this business is mobile. If you can find a good Airbnb with good internet, you can run it somewhere else. So it's a good little caveat to throw in. Uh, you're always working. Why don't you work for me so we spend more time together? What are you doing what? Say a lot of webcam business. Oh, I don't want to do that. So, okay, I know you don't want to do that, but listen. Come, let's have a meeting. Let's just talk about it. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Fine. But let me explain it to you properly. In fact, I'll bring one of the girls who works for me. You, your bought my bitch, the new girl. You go out for fucking a nice dinner. Your bought my bitch is the one who does the selling. You don't do the selling. The girl has to hear from a girl. And this is where your bought has to be trained. That's why I said it's so important to have a good first girl. Remember Glenn Maxwell? That was the girl that recruited for Jeffrey Epstein. Almost identical to what he's talking about here. Oh my god. Okay. I feel like this is just going downhill real fast. <laughs> oh my god. Just assholery, man. Just assholery. You guys remember. So th this is why this is important. This portion right here. It doesn't prove anything, but it is one of the little pieces of evidence that they add in for the whole trafficking charge. Basically, he he has a woman, okay? Some Instagram models. Okay. Uh, long with that play. Have remanded a further two people in custody. One is for one is a former police officer, and the other one is believed to be in a relationship with Tate. A former a police officer. Okay. Okay. Who used to be a former police officer in Romania. She's the one who does the recruiting, the managing of the women. Why? Because women are much more likely to be roped into these kinds of things if they're hearing it from another woman. So when he sets up his organization, right? Because they're accusing him of running a criminal organization. He has the woman who he calls his bottom bit, right? To uh, recruit the other women. Okay. Now, 
there's some transcripts because they did some wiretaps. They seized their phones. They seized all their technology. Oh, Jesus. So there's some conversations that they're using now. I want you to also know the context of the country's in. Andrew Tate is a foreigner living in Romania as a rich person. Trying to get, trying to fucking steal from the government? And he's also spoken about the reason why he left the UK to go to Romania is because, you know what I mean? La la laws are a little bit lax. They're not like, it's not as repressive. So this is how he talks about Romania and going to jail there, okay? This is this is pulled from his PC and then it was leaked to the press, okay? So this is something that they got. Romanian courts, so there's some, oh no, not a court in Romania. <laughs> They're corruption free, as we all know. Put me in jail, I'm gonna walk in there with a pile of money like this. Get me out of jail. So law says you're guilty. I said get me out of jail. I'll go see a lawyer to talk about the law. I have committed multiple felonies. How much does it problem. cost to make this all go away? Also, when you're real G's that you're here, you're there, you're everywhere. You gotta go to Poland, you gotta go to Warsaw, fucking Dubai, Miami. Anyone who watches State Confidential knows I'm all over the place. So I end up with all these chicks just stuck in their house, sitting there, bored, completely in love with me. And of course, they don't go out. They're not allowed out. You stay in the house. You don't go nowhere. You're not, no restaurants, no clubs, nothing. But here's even. Oh my God. So I saw on the video there, it showed Tate University. Okay. Let's... <laughs> oh, Frank. This is so sick, dude. It's so sick. It's so sick. Like, how could you do that to somebody? I don't. I could never do that to somebody. I don't know how you could do that to somebody and then be out there just broadcasting it like, yeah, you can do this too. And this is, here's how you can do it. Holy. And the kicker, looking at private videos that are part of the police file uh, from the con, see the following passages from the context of this content, there is no doubt a deep lack of respect for the legal norms and a total indifference to the social protected values that the defendant gives proof of. Also, the attitude of disregard towards women in general, which he perceives only as a mean of getting his content released. In other words, making money. The judge cannot agree with the support of the defense in the sense that the video contents presents only one character and cannot be taken into account since the defendant exhibits the same attitude in the relations with the injured persons and is evident from the content of the conversations that are in these criminal prosecution files. Basically, the judge like, nah, the way you act in real life is how you're talking about these videos. So I'm not gonna not use them as evidence. I cannot use them as evidence because they match. Let's get to the transcripts. Cuz people are saying- Wait, 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 you got more? Oh my God. When I say, listen, there's always more. Oh, more. Watching, do not. So these are these are leaked transcripts from the stenographer, either in the court case or leaked from the prosecutor's office. The reason why they're doing this is they like the media attention being involved in this. The prosecutor may probably have some ego involved, and he wants to let everybody know I'm going to be the person who takes down Andrew exactly. Tate. And listen, it only matters if he's got evidence to back it up, and he's done some digging. And it seems that during their eight months of searching and their uh, raids on the compound, they found quite a lot. Oh my god. Okay, so this is how Andrew Tate apparently manipulates one of the victims into flying to Romania by promising marriage. Then discusses said victim as a commodity to be used for making money. Andrew Tate says, you have to understand what the once you're mine, you'll might be mine forever. A woman never leaves her man, and I'll be the last man in your life. What do we do if we fall in love and I kidnap you to bring you to Bucharest? And then the girl replies, I don't think it's kidnapping if I want to come. First, I have to see in your eyes that you will never be able to live without me. And then I can trust you to show you everything. Bring a ring when you come. This is what the girl said. He says, can you be loving enough to be a wife? To always be on my side wherever I go to talk to zero men besides me? And you have to move to Romania with me to keep an eye on you. You're mine. Don't ever forget that. And she says, but can I trust you? He says, yes, you can. We'll meet in Romania. And I want to know you're committed and serious about marriage. Yes, I'm serious. And when she gets there, he's like, well, we're not. Okay. So she initially it seemed like he was supposed to see her and then he was telling her to come to Romania. Oh God. Okay. Like he's like luring women. I get married. I want to turn you into a cam girl. Okay. So they're basically establishing that the way that he's getting these people involved in the whole business is through fraud. And if you remember what the guy said earlier in regards to some of the criteria that need to be met. Okay. One of them is fraud. 
and that's what they're trying to establish with these conversations when they're released so even though this conversation doesn't seem bad to you you have to understand by the letter of the law and how they define human trafficking this is one of those elements that they might incorporate in order to make that charge stick basically he wasn't telling these people hey i'm running a can business come down he's like i want to marry you you're gonna fall in love with me you're gonna fall in love with me he gets them all the way down to romania inside of his compound then he springs it on him with who his bottom so andrew tate says you're not stupid and you and he's talking to one of the victims you're not stupid and you can probably guess how i make so much money i have to hide what i'm really doing and the victim says what? webcam and he says i've been doing this for a long time with a team of girls working on video chat the company was fake but this is how i laundered my dirty money some of the girls who worked for me i use them to do other things to move money or illegal things documents and i will never do that with you Why are you writing this to somebody? Like, why are you telling this to these women that you're trying to, like, lure in? Like, for, like, why are you doing that? Oh, my God. He's an idiot. It's like your head got too big and you're just like, I got to show off to the world that I did this. Like, this is what I'm doing. Like, I can't help myself basically telling the girl you're different from the others i make them do the really illegal stuff again they have it right here in the wiretaps okay the him admitting to this stuff this is going to be used in court and you're gonna have a hard time explaining this one away what is this money laundering that you were doing you can't go to the court and be like hey what happened was <laughs> i mean scratch your head and yeah push it out. okay so now here comes the next part this is the i think the biggest one tate's angels meaning the bottom the two women. I mean, that's what they call them, bro. What would y'all be saying? This is what it reads. Charlie's? They don't want to say hoes? Hey, man, listen. These are the women who work for him. The Glay Maxwells. If you don't make money, we're going to have a problem. Punch yourself in the mouth until I arrive, because then I'll give you another 10, you incurable slacker. And the other girl says, I'll break you when I get there. And the victim says, what did I do? And the bottom is... So you have one hour and 10 minutes to disappear. And the victim says, but what did I do? You're down 20% four days since you posted. And she says, if Andrew looks to see you, if you posted TikToks, you won't even have time to pack. You're flying off the balcony straight away. So what does this conversation really mean? This is where this is important. Oh my God. It just sounds like, uh, like an enforcer or something. Except it's a woman doing it. It might not mean much to y'all because you're like, well, is when they're taking this in, con in conjunction with everything else, the fraud element involved, the coercion element, the aspect of like lying about what they're really going to be doing there. The fact that this girl who works for Tate is saying he, she's going to be punching the girl 10 times when she gets there, that there's these threats of violence. The one saying like, Andrew Tate gets home, you're going to be flying off the balcony. Is that literally? Probably not. But there is some element there of threats of potential violence when you don't do what's needed. When you take that to court, and these are conversations that are happening in private, you understand? They're gonna take this into strong consideration when they're making their case. They're gonna be like, how do you explain this stuff? Oh, we're just joking. We're not gonna actually make her. Well, then why is the victim terrified? Oh, she's just lying and making, you think that's good? Okay, okay. I think I heard enough. Like, this is just, this is just, it's actually like hurting my brain. It is hurting my brain. It's so ridiculous. It's so messed up. It seems like he's doing it. Like he says he's doing it. And if he if he's actually doing this, he's a fucking asshole. And then he should be charged and prosecuted and go to jail and stuff. Like this is ridiculous. I don't know how you could do that to anybody. And then to go on and try to like teach other people how to reproduce this essentially and then make money off of that teaching like uh, off of teaching them okay. i'm done my brain hurts this is just sad shit i i don't even know what to say i really hope i really hope it didn't happen and it's not like this but if it is wow just wow